So spoilers, there aren't any full-blown Yuri anime airing this summer. But there are some interesting titles that you might need to keep an eye on. Such as that amazing Suicide Squad anime. Finally! That'll scratch my itch after getting two movies and a video game. But seriously, there are some anime that seem to show much promise. And like I always try to do with these videos, look for those diamonds in the rough. Last season, we got surprise Yuri shows like Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night. So I'm always on the lookout for anything with potential. And if they do end up being Yuri shows, then I can at least have bragging rights too. Alrighty, let's start counting them off. So our first anime is actually my most anticipated, which might surprise some people considering a certain idol franchise movie is also premiering this summer. It's Shika Noko, Noko Noko Koshi Tan Tan. Fun fact, if you want to pronounce the name perfectly just like me, then just listen to the theme song for 10 hours straight. It definitely won't f*** you up. <laughs> Now the first thing that drew me into this was the production. It's being made by the famous Wit Studio, who you may know as the studio behind Attack on Titan, Spy Family, and Vinland Saga. So we're definitely in good hands in regards to the animation quality. The next thing was the overwhelming Nichijo and Pop Team epic vibes I got from it. And incidentally, the actress who voices the dear girl Nokotan also voices Popko from PTE. But then again, literally everyone has voiced Popko and Pipimi, so that's not much of an accolade. But something that is noteworthy is the bonkers premise. We follow the crazy antics of Nokotan, a dear girl who transfers into a high school and befriends Turako, a picture-perfect student council president admired by all her peers. But right away, Nokotan is able to deduce that this is all a facade and that Turako used to be a hard-ass delinquent. Because a well-known fact about deers is that they have a nose for sniffing out your dark and embarrassing past. Anyway, what we really want to know is if there's any Yuri. And right off the bat, we got some activity on the radar. Turako, being one of those perfect anime students, is predictably loved by her classmates. And this includes girls, too. One of which is Koshiyanko. And let me start by saying that her affection for Turako is no joke. We may be looking at a potential yandere here and... Wait a minute. Koshi? Ah, crap. Well, it's not like this is anything new. Anyway, with an all-female cast of cuties, I'm confident there'll be some adorable and hilarious flirting amongst them. Trust me, I can sniff this stuff out like the dear boy that I am. So next is a new season to a show from last fall, and that is Shy Season 2. A show about timid middle schooler Momoji Yamateru who learns to do the whole superhero thing by beating evil baddies, making new friends and allies, and never running from a real fight. So I watched all of Season 1 back when it aired, and thought it was just... Okay. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the superhero genre, and would prefer if it went a little more creative and crazy now and then. Oh, One Punch Man, you truly are a king amongst men. But where the anime shines is in the likability of the characters. Teru is an adorable little muffin who gives it her darndest when the going gets tough, and she may or may not be forming a harem at this point. Iko is Teru's main squeeze, and goes through much personal development. And Pesha is the wise but charming mentor, who has more than her fair share of demons to fight. And someone who I might have a little itty bitty crush on. I mean, there's mommy things, many things to like about her after all. Anyway, with another season, we could expect new characters and more superhero action. I just hope they can make me care about the super villain aspect a little more. As I said in a previous video, I can barely take a bunch of child bad guys seriously. And when their motivation is rather nebulous, it makes me zone out every time they're on screen. So our next level gem is another one of those annoyingly long light novel anime titles. It's VTuber Legend, how I became popular after forgetting to turn off my stream. Fucking hell. So stupid names aside, I am kind of excited for this one. So if you couldn't figure out what the story is by now, let me continue elaborating. Our protagonist, Tanaka Yuki, is a VTuber who streams herself acting all ladylike for her audience, while talking about highbrow, non-plebeian stuff. And just like any other day, she finishes a stream and cracks a few brewskis. But unbeknownst to her, it was not turned off, and her audience got her at a raw form. Then this gap moe piece of content exploded overnight, and Yuki found herself more popular than ever. So with her being in in the limelight and encouraged to do more rowdy drunken streams, she takes the mask off and lets loose for all to see. But the important part is she meets and collaborates with other popular VTubers, who all have their own eccentric side as well. So very quickly, the whole VTubing phenomenon kind of flew over my head. The only things I knew were that there's a crap ton of them, and that a good chunk of the characters are shipped with each other. And what we got here is an anime with a large cast of cute and sexy beauties doing cute and sexy things. And that I definitely know I like. But what convinced me even more is just how blatant the Yuri potential is. 
eyes. Aside from seeing the girls slobber all over each other, the obvious one that stands out is the character Utsuki Sei, who the anime describes as a succubus interested only in women. Have you ever heard a more beautiful sentence than that? I also have no doubt more couples will pop up too. The trailers just scream Shipper's Paradise. And this is a little off topic, but something I'm a little confused by is if this is supposed to be a fantasy anime. Because we see characters that are succubi and fox and cat girls. I assume that's just who they are. But at the same time, VTubers are supposed to be virtual characters with wacky designs. And we also see them do the whole 3D model avatar thing, despite the fact that it's just a 3D model of themselves. I don't know. I originally assumed that these would just be their digital avatars. And they will look entirely different in real life. Enlighten me if you will. Alrighty, next up is the obligatory girls club anime of the season. It's Nanare Hananare. And no, I don't know what that means. I also don't know what Numa Numi means either. So based on the trailers, we're to assume that the show is about cheerleading. And right off the bat, I'm reminded of the dark reality that we will never see Anima Yell Season 2. But regardless, that hole in my heart might just be filled by what this anime has to offer. So the show follows six girls who all got bitten by the cheerleading bug and now spend their time cheering at what looks to be various town events, and even participating in a competition at some point. Just like Anima Yell. So I don't think I need to explain how the Yuri will possibly go at this point. It's pretty safe we'll get a Yuri crush or two, some childhood friend drama, and maybe even a love triangle. It's Girls Club Anime 101. Look for a class teaching it near you. So yeah, there's not much else to talk about based on the synopsis or the trailers. My one and only wish is that PA Works finally steps out of their comfort zone and gives us something more than just subtext and Yuri bait. Time and time again, we've been hopeful. Expecting to finally find that four carat piece of gold. But instead, there were simply flashes in the pan. Come on, PA Works. Don't be the next Kyoto animation. <laughs> Speaking of PA works, looks like they're double dipping this season. And their other anime is called Mayanaka Punch. And I have to say, the trailers pack quite a wallop. No pun intended. So the best I can glean from all this is a teenage girl named Masaki is pissed after being fired from her YouTube group. So she then proceeds to start her own YouTube channel. For some reason or another, she encounters a freaking vampire girl named Live who wants to suck her dry. And apparently Masaki agrees to let Live eat her if she helps her reach 1 million subs. They then enlist the help of some other weirdos and together get into many wacky hijinks as they continue to climb up the algorithm ladder. Basically, what I took away from this is that this is a quintessential Zoomer anime. So aside from reminding me of Jellyfish, we can safely assume that this show will be much more zany and over the top. My only question is will it be zanier than Akiba Maid Wars, or just barely? Regardless, there's lots of potential to be had here. And just by looking at the characters, you know some raunchy crazy stuff is gonna go down. There's also eight main cast members, an even number. You know what that means. So yeah, a bunch of girls do some crazy content creating. Nothing new, but also not dry in potential entertainment either. Also, I'm calling it. The final YouTube video they'll make to reach a million subscribers will be live doing a mukbang of her eating masaki. Nah, I'm just kidding. It'll be an OnlyFans video. Now the final anime I wanted to mention is the highly anticipated Love Live Nichikazaki movie. But I'll refrain from talking about it right now, and instead make an entire video dedicated to it. As I have quite a lot to talk about with this one. Whenever my channel's bread and butter is involved, you bet your ass I'm gonna take this shit seriously. And that is it as far as I can tell. Summer may not be the season of Yuri, but it certainly looks to be the season of cute girls doing wacky things. CGDWT for short. So let me know which shows got you twitching in excitement. Anyone you got high hopes for, or anyone that looks to be a stinker. Sound off in the comments. Alrighty, see you around.